Hi guys, it's Kathy. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Today, I'm happy to announce I'm going to be doing a pour collaboration along with the lovely and talented artist, Lori Wisner. I will list her, uh, her contact below. Uh, you can just go right to her channel and see what her pour is. I am working on a 14 by 18 inch standard edge canvas today. I'm going to be working with uh, our three must-have colors, which is white. This is my usual Artist Law Flow Acrylic mixed with Amsterdam Titanium White. And black, which is uh, black cell activator using Aussie Floetrol. And we can choose any shade of blue. This is leftover blues with whites and some metallics, and I don't know what else. And I added some Modern Masters Glacier Blue to it. Uh, those are the must-have colors, and we are going to be doing two different techniques on one canvas each. Uh, any techniques that we choose. The other colors I'm choosing are... Let's see, I have this beautiful mixture of DecoArt Sapphire and Amsterdam Thalo Blue. I have Amsterdam Naples Yellow Red. It's mixed also with, um, sorry, uh, Liquitex Orange Hue. And then there's Amsterdam Permanent Red Violet with a little bit of Arteza Bordeaux Red. And then I have some leftovers from the last pour I did that I had to scrape. Um, and they're basically the same colors. Uh, I thought I'd use this in a sky um, along with the other colors. We shall see. So the sky is going to be white. Uh, blues, and then these would be the sunset colors. And below is going to be an ocean using these two colors and white. And, and I am thinking of the black cell activator through it, and I might also use white cell activator. But we shall see. All right, so first, I want to do couple of flip cups and I'm going to start I'm going to sandwich I call it a sandwich you do white first and then white last as well so we have that hold on a minute I'm going to do I'm pouring from up high the orange because I want this to mix pretty well up high, that red violet, and in the middle, I'm going to do this um, my leftover blues. Okay, and let's see, we will go back again. A little more pink. I'm trying to not be so generous with the bright, warm colors because. I don't know, don't know what to expect. Um, okay, and I'm gonna use these grays, this mixture of the grays. And I'm gonna put more in because I don't think I have enough. Okay. Use a little more of this blue from up high. And white from up high. Okay. That's going to go there. And I'm going to do another one. Um, what I might do on this one. Um, I think I'll start with the gray mixture. a few 
few minutes to settle down. Just gonna organize stuff while I do that. Pretty. Pour all the rest of this into my leftover gray cup. Just tilting this out into a sky. See, I'm going to use some of this white too <clears throat> for the um, ocean. Got little goobers here.
Yeah, actually. So this makes it, uh, I'm gonna use the straw, I think, on the white. And that'll make it uh, three different techniques instead of two. that not so much here and like I said I'm gonna have to do some little touch-up work through here which is kind of a pain but uh, it can be done So let me fiddle with this a little bit and I'll be right back with the wet okay, wheel. So here this is. Let's start with the sky first. That was the double flip cup, uh, each cup being sandwiched with white on either end and pouring from on high to help blend those colors. So it gives a soft effect, soft effect. I tried to straighten my horizontal horizon line out. It's a little too high right here. I will have to hand paint that down with some white once this dries. I love all the lacing here from the black cell activator. And then that's my little white sand beach, I guess. Um, these are my little waves that I added, trying to cover up most of that white mistake that I made. Anyway, that works out well. As the waves get closer, you might see more wave action as it looks larger. It's certainly not realistic, but it is a fluid art sky and seascape. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I hope you like it. And I'll be back in a minute with the dry results. Thanks for joining okay, me. Okay, so here this is finished and dry. I added a little bit of minor embellishments uh, here and there, like those little waves and the splash in the front. I love the lacing in here and the cells. Some little waves I kind of enhanced just slightly, just the way they were. Even the ones way in the background here, just very slight, just to give that notion of windblown waves. And then the softer sky here. I slightly enhanced the orange and pink colors so they would stand out a wee bit more, but that's about it. Very happy with how that came out. Um, I wondered about this flip cup right next to a swipe, thinking that just wasn't going to go together well at all in this collaboration, but... Um, I'm pretty happy with it. So there it is. Be sure to watch Lori Wisner's poll if you haven't already. In the meantime, I thank you so much for being here with both of us, for joining us. Please take care, be well, be happy. I will see you all next time. Till then, take care, be well. Bye-bye.